Social Security Administration. Your line has been connected to Officer James Watson with the batch ID 252747. Who am I speaking with right now? My first name is spelled R as in Romeo, O as in Oscar, mm -hmm. B as in Bravo, E as in Echo, R as in Romeo, T as in Tango. My last name is spelled G as in Golf, R as in Romeo, I as in India, N as in November, N as in November, E as in Echo, L as in Lima, L is in Lima. Okay, your last name, it's Grenell, right? That's right. And how do you spell out your first name? Spell it out for me one more time. R is in Romeo, O is in Oscar, uh -huh. B as in Bravo, mm -hmm. E as in Echo, R is in Romeo, T as in Tango. It's Robert Grenell, correct? That's right. Okay. Mr. Robert, just verify me your address. I live at 1187 Campbell Avenue. So C is in Charlie, A is in Alpha, M is in Mike, uh -huh. P as in Papa, B as in Bravo, E as in Echo, L is in Lima, L is in Lima, Avenue. A is in Alpha, V as in Victor, E as in Echo, N is in November, U is in Uniform, E as in Echo. That's in West Haven, so W is in Whiskey, E as in Echo, S in Sierra, T as in Tango, Space, H in Hotel, A is in Alpha, V as in Robert. Yes, sir. Hello, are you still there? I'm still here. Your voice disappeared. Verify me your social security numbers, Robert. It's zero two seven two four one nine two two. Hello? Hello! I got a message that says I have to drop what I'm doing and call here. Can you help me? Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Hello! I got a message that says I have to drop what I'm doing and call here. Can you help me? Yeah, I can help you, Shirley. What you have to do right now, okay? I'll be filling a asset verification form, okay? For you. Just help me out with your social security number first of all, so I can get to know who am I speaking with. My social security number is 27 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. And just help me out with your zip code. Zero six five one six. Okay. And on the recorded call, just help me with your full name, sir. Your first and your last name. My first name is spelled R is in Romeo, O is in Oscar, mm -hmm. B as in Bravo, mm -hmm. E as in Echo. Mm -hmm. R is in Romeo, mm -hmm. T as in Tango. Mm -hmm. My last name is spelled G as in Golf, R is in Romeo, I is in India, N is in November, N is in November, E as in Echo, L is in Lima, L is in Lima. Okay. And I'm just going to fill an asset verification form for you, okay? I'll just explain you. We have got some blood and some drug which were being found in the car which was been abandoned on the taxes, okay? And the car was been rented under your name. I just need to ask you, have you been over there anyway? 
Like, have you ever been to the state of Texas? I worked at the Dallas, at the Texas School Book Depository in Dallas, Texas in 1963. And then my good friends, mm -hmm. Lyndon Baines Johnson and Sam Giancana gave me some money so I could move away. And then in 1980, I worked at the South Fork Ranch in uh, Parker, Texas. And then there was a small incident that happened to my boss. And my boss's wife, Sue Ellen, gave me some money so I could move out of state. Okay, no problem, sir. Just give me a moment, let me check it from my end, okay? Okay. So what we have to do right now, sir, we are not aware you are the one who has done drug trafficking and money laundering things, like all these fishy things under your name, or is there someone else who is doing all these things, okay? So just tell me, like, uh, have you ever, like, lost any of your socialized information anywhere? No, I keep my wallet in my front pocket. Okay, so you're telling me that you haven't done anything wrong, right? No, I've done and nothing. And you have never lost any of your information. Okay, so may I know like how many people have access to your social information? I really can't think of anyone. Okay, you can't think of anyone. Just give me a moment, sir. So what I'll be doing right now, I'll be filling an asset verification, okay, form. So from that, we'll get to know that which all things belongs to you and which all things are not being fraudulently used by you, okay? okay? So we can get a catch of the person who is doing all these things, all these fishy things under your name. So the house you're staying right now, Mr. Robert, it's your own house or you're renting this apartment? I'm renting the apartment. Okay. And may I know how many vehicles do you have under your name? I have one car. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have a driving license for that car? Yes. Okay. And may I know how many bank accounts do you deal with? I have one checking account and one savings account. Okay, with which bank? Milford Bank. Okay. So may I know what is your checking account, like how much would be in that? What's your approximate balance you would be carrying in your check-in? A lady printed it out for me last week. Let me dig in the drawer for the slip. Sure. Okay. So the savings account would have 73700 Eighty-four dollars and seventeen cents. Okay. And what about the saving account? Well, okay, the, what about the checking then? The checking account would be four thousand seven hundred thirty-six dollars and ten cents. Okay, and do you have a debit card with this bank? Yes. Okay. And besides this, how many bank accounts do you deal with? That's all I have. Okay, no problem. So what about the credit cards? How many credit cards do you own under your name? I got rid of my only credit card 20 years ago. I was scammed by someone in mm -hmm. Pakistan, but I learned my lesson, mm -hmm. so I closed my credit card. I've never had a credit card again, mm -hmm. and I've never been scammed ever mm -hmm. again. Okay, that's what I'm telling you, sir. Never to share any of your information to anybody, like your credit card number or your debit card number to anybody over the phone, okay? And even your social security number as well. Okay, because there are many of the fishy things which are going on right now. Okay? Okay. And may I know how much do you have in cashes at your residence? I believe you are aware you cannot keep a large amount of cash at you, like with you at your residence. So how much is the cash is amount you got? I probably have $300 in my wallet. 
Okay, it would be approximately two hundred dollars, right? That's right. Okay, no problem. So what I'll be doing right now, sir, I'll be sending all this information for a background check. And you told me like you were being scammed by a Pakistani person, correct? Yeah, about twenty years ago. Okay, so like, what kind of scam did like? How did he scam you? For what things? You told me you were being scammed for credit card. I don't remember much. It was 20 years ago. I think it had to do with some something to do with mail enhancement. Yeah, so that's what I'm telling you, sir, because you have a case of money laundering and drug trafficking right now. So even you can understand this, correct? So what we have to do right now, sir, okay? So, officer, Commissioner Nathan Benson is a signing officer in this case, okay? So right now, first of all, you have to safeguard your money because we have got an order that your bank account is going to get freezed in 24 hours. So make sure you convert your money on the federal bonds and keep it with you, okay? So do you have a pen and a paper with you so I can just give you all the instructions further? It's upstairs. Let me go upstairs. Sure, no problem. I'll wait for you. <laughs> Excuse me. I haven't been the same since I got coronavirus. Just another set of stairs. Let me dig in my drawer. Okay, I have a pen and paper. Write down the name. It's Officer Mike McCurdy, who is going to come at your residence tomorrow in the morning. Okay? How do I spell McCurdy? So he'll be bringing a cash. It's M-A-R-K, Mark, M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y, McCurdy. Okay. Yeah. So you have written it? Yes. Okay. So may I know how much time you would be taking to get dressed? Because you have to go and convert your money under federal bonds. Okay? I would need about five minutes. Okay, no problem. So take your keys, your face mask, and your debit card, and you can just uh, get dressed up to move for the location till then I can just see which location is the nearest one for you okay so we can just convert your money on the federal bonds and you can just keep it with you okay, okay. so your money doesn't go anywhere yeah okay so I'll go get my coat sure Thank <laughs> you. 